Hi. It's us. Hello. We're in the same room, just as a reminder. We're back. We're our time of the month. We're, not even gonna, we're just gonna not even talk about it. We're not addressing it. No. It's favorites, y'all. It's favorites. Ah, we haven't done one of these in a minute, so we have some quite fun new ones. Perk of not filming, you got a lot of time to figure, to round up your fave. To like things. Uh -huh. And hate things. Oh yeah, I'm doing a lot of that too. Oh. I'm using so many things up. I hated something yesterday, now I don't remember what it was. Mm. Oh, my empties bin was overflowing. Oh yeah, yeah. Check that. back for that video because that's coming too. Mm -hmm. Uh, top down. Top you, down. I don't have any tops. Do you have any tops? I actually oh. do. Wow. Yeah. So I've been going shorter every time I get my hair cut. I think it's like three weeks grown out right now. I'm gonna get a cut next week. I have a lot of cowlicks, which I always knew. And even though I've had this short hair for nearly two years at this point, I feel like I'm still struggling with them and I don't know exactly how I should style my hair to make them less noticeable, to work with them and not against them. And I was at our friend's birthday happy hour a few weeks ago and my previous hairstylist, who I still love, she was there and she was like, why don't you try combing your hair forward a little bit more when it's shorter because then your cowlicks won't bite it. And so I started doing that and I really freaking loved it. It's too long to do it now because it would be like a full bang here. So I think I'm gonna tell her to trim it's like a comb over. more. Yeah, I think I'm gonna tell her to trim more in the front next time because I did enjoy that style and the way I was getting it to look really good was with a spray wax. So I bought two. Mm -hmm. That was a really long story to tell you. This spray is my wax. favorite. No, that was a very Kaylin-esque story. Spray a wax. Red. Long story long. Really. Red can spray wax wax blast. It's a fine wax mist for textured looks. I love it. I had used an Oribe wax in the past and it was fine, but I would never pay that price. And also it was a little too tacky. Mm. This is just enough. It's the Goldilocks. It's really, really good. And so when my hair is shorter, even I'm even using it today. It's the only product in my hair. Mm. I just spray the shit out of it and then I can just manipulate. Twisty, twisty, lay, lay, done. Be the artist that you are. I've, I've not been blow drying it. Great. That's amazing. Uh, I know. I'm Ugh. really leaning into the lazy gal hair. I don't think I can go back. I really don't. That's really annoying that you're keeping your hair so healthy and you just cut it off every three weeks. Right? You're finally doing all the good things and then you're like, mm, gone. Yep. Okay, the very first thing, which was like my thing that inspired favorites, mm. I forgot it. Oops. Uh, but it is for your face. Oops. I am currently wearing it today. I'm wearing it every day. It is the Kosas SPF. I don't know, look up the actual name. Drops. Sure. You know what I mean. Look it's all over the internet. I absolutely, I think, was either TikTok or Instagram influenced, but it has become my only foundation. Yeah. I. It's the first product that's ever gotten me to wear SPF every single day consistently. And actually, because I got that like Sephora kit, mm -hmm. I am layering like SPF primers or moisturizers under it and then layering on top. And it just, it does feel kind of like a very thin sunscreen, mm -hmm. um, like kind of watery. It reminds me of my Kosas tinted foundation, but it's thicker. Um, so I do sometimes use that one, but I really, really am loving the SPF in this. I just feel like it, do it doesn't feel, I forget. I forget yeah. that I have makeup on when I'm wearing it, which I think is excellent. If you do put it on and don't put on the rest of the makeup, that's fine. It's not like you're going to look like you have foundation face and then no other makeup. And also I feel like it's really glowy. It's got a little bit of a dewy finish, but it doesn't smell like sunscreen, mm. which is important to me because I I'm, I really, really don't like the smell of sunscreen like on my face. I particularly don't like it around my mouth. Uh, but yeah, no, you put it on and it goes away and it's just there. Everything that Caitlin said about that tension moisturizer is exactly how I'm feeling about this one. This is by Misha M. It's a Korean skincare product. I think this was making its way around the internet on the Makeup Alley website. Do you remember that website? It's no longer updated. Anyhow, it used to be really popular back in the day, but then I just rediscovered it. And it is a BB cream, but it has SPF 42, PA++, skincare and tint and SPF all in one. And like Caitlin, I'm not wearing foundation, I'm just wearing this. And it's a little bit thick, but I love it. And it's a nice color. Hmm and it's sort of glowy as well. It doesn't make me feel like it's sticky. It does have a little bit of a scent, but I don't find it offensive at all. 
and I've not gotten a sunburn a single time. It doesn't irritate my skin. Usually if I wear SPF every single day, mm -hmm. I can start getting a lot of clogged pores and this hasn't done that for me. Uh, helps brighten skin tone. Perfect. That's what it says. Heal blemishes, provides excellent coverage. Coverage is like light to medium, you know, it's a BB cream, but I really like it. You can't have Amazon for like $10. Never have ever heard of it. It has multiple, you have multiple shades too. <laughs> and you know, this Korean skincare thing. They're not lying. It's very good. Korean skincare. Okay. So the next thing I have are the, oh, what do they call them? Juice balm. Are the Tower 28 Juice Balm Tinted Lip Balms. Uh, Danielle and I got a little frisky and went ahead and just bought every shade a couple weeks ago. And I just find myself, well, you just watched me, I think, early in this video, just, mm, I just, all the, just, just, mm, 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 mm. just like that. I just pop it out of my purse just and I'll just, just like that. it's somehow not nearly as, I don't want to say embarrassing, but there's something I always feel weird about, like applying lipstick in front of other people. Oh. Like in a crowd, not other women, right. but like in a mixed party, I guess. <laughs> I just feel like it's like people always think like, why are you putting lipstick on? But oh, I'm like, eh, it's a tinted I mean. balm. So yeah, I'll just, I love that it looks like a crayon. It's easy peasy to wear. It's very, I actually use it a lot as a chapstick because mm -hmm. my chapstick was discontinued. So it definitely is moisturizing. It definitely has a little bit of a hint of a tint. Um, no complaints, love it, love it. I think mine is the brighter one. It's orange. I don't wear it as often, but when I do, I do love it. I think I would, I think I would get that one too. Mm -hmm. I think I would get that one. Two blushes. Cheater. Really, really love a baby pink, a cool tone pink right now. And these two are my favorites. The first one is under $5. It's by Essence and it's called Baby Got Blush. Mm. This shade is called Tickle Me Pink and it does have a little bit of a watermelon scent. Oh. So Caitlin and I tried these when we went away together. Oh yeah. She wasn't wild about the fragrance, but mm -hmm. I don't mind it. And I also love the color. It's super easy to blend. It wears all day. That's not an easy task for a cream blush. So they have this, they have it in, I think a deeper, more cranberry shade. They have it in a, um, like an orangey coral shade, which I also have and I love. And then this is Stockholm by Merit. And it's very similar but a little bit more sheer, mm -hmm. a little bit more dewy. Mm -hmm. This is the one I'm wearing today and Merit really just can't do anything wrong. That I was gonna say, really they can't. just Merit. Merit as a brand at this point, although their mascara was just like eh. These tones I think look good on my skin. So I've been leaning into the baby pink and you know the Barbie movie's coming out. <laughs> I read it. I think I wanna see it. Oh, I definitely wanna see it. We were so got, we got got by this. We, uh, but I'm like continuing to get, I'm like getting got all the time. Yeah, get me some more. It is the Touchland hand sanitizers. Mm -hmm. So when Danielle and I went to Sephora for this for sale, we just grabbed them. Is that what it was? Mm -hmm. We just grabbed them right out of the little checkout and we were like, I've always wanted to try these. So originally I got this yellow one and can I just tell you all the girlies, just, you know what this is perfect for? when you go bowling. Vanilla Blossom, and then the blue one is Blue Sandalwood. Delicious. Yeah. I have watermelon. Just like clean and fresh, but I, I just love how it looks, and I love how it fits in my bag. Yes. I love everything about it. It's the dumbest, it's 10 doll hairs. It's a deck of cards. The one with the smiley face on it, I believe is 14. I know. But there's I'm also one with a little glitter. There's one with a little shiny spritzy. Why do I want that? I think I want it. Okay. I think I just, why not? You want to hand sanitize your arms? Yeah, mames. But anyway, so uh, fucking love them. We'll be repurchasing, I feel like an absolute twat. But can I tell you, when we were out the other day with friends, our friend's husband was like, do you still have that thing with the with the hand sanitizer? Yep. I was like, yeah, of course not. Yep. Even Mike likes it. But like, I don't think I've ever remembered someone being like, Hey, I remember that a couple weeks ago you had a hand sanitizer in your purse. I would like some hand sanitizer to right. have it. I'm a self-proclaimed cup junkie. Like mostly coffee cups. I have a few swell bottles, a couple of swell bottles. One swell bottle. I don't know. Two swell bottles. Who fucking knows? Who cares? Two. I have a blue one and a brown one. Fuck. I do, you're right. I do have a blue one and a brown one. Uh, where is my brown one? I have not seen that one in a long time. Mike probably lost it. Under the seat of your car. Ooh, that's actually not a bad guess. Swell bottles are perfect for that. They are. 
Um, I'm really, really picky with water bottles because I don't really like to I don't really like to tip the bottle back and drink that way because I'm a very messy person. It doesn't matter how many times I've drank over the years, I still dribble, dribble, dribble all the time. I don't know what's wrong with me. I think it's because I have such big teeth. So I wanted a water bottle that had a built-in straw in it, but I was like, I don't want the Stanley. First of all, I think it's way too big and I don't want to be, like I can't have this fucking hand sanitizer and a Stanley because then I'll just, someone will kill me. I might, it might be myself, I might <laughs> off myself. <laughs> I was at a Whole Foods doing a little grocery shopping after a yoga class. Unbeknownst to me, I had left my water bottle at the yoga studio. Mm. It was like I knew that I needed a new one. I hated it so much. And so I was just perusing and this one was on sale for $16. It was half off. This is the Owala 32 ounce bottle. I don't think it has a special name. It is the best water bottle I've ever used. I cannot profess my love for it enough. It's really made me drink a whole bunch more water. It has a mouth hole that you can drink out of like that if you're, you know, not clumsy, but also has a built-in hole. That's the straw. Mm -hmm. So I just do this. I just do that and then I can do this and I can lock it and I can do whatever and nothing leaks and I can also double lock it if I wanted to. It is the best. It's actually, for me, it's the handle. I can carry That's it. That's the one thing I don't like about a swell bottle. Maybe, they, I bet you there's someone that sells like a silicone something. I bet you're right. On Because I do hate when I can't, I have to hold it like this. Yep. I clean it every day. It's really easy to get the little scrubby brush I have down in the straw thing to clean that out because I get lipstick built up in mm -hmm. it like an idiot. Uh, but I really love it and cannot say enough good things about it. They have, they also make a lot of different fun colorways, sort of like Cotopaxi. Yeah. Our friend actually got one that was like brown and pink and yellow and yes. I really like that one. But when it was $16, I was like, I don't care what color it is, you're coming home with me. Right. Haven't stopped using it. Ah, oh, what a great way to drink water. Next favorite thing, which you probably, you've maybe already seen in videos or something, but it is my Casely phone case. So uh, I had another phone case on there. It lasted a couple years and then it just crapped out. I am a big phone dropper. So I went online and I originally was on the case to file. Oh, that's what happened. Uh, case to no, I'm just gonna skip that because it's a long story. Uh, anyway, <laughs> went on. Okay. Went on to Casely and ended up with this lime green case. I wanted actually something that was matte, but the, that one was way more expensive. Hmm. So I ended up with this one and I fucking love it. I actually I bought it. two phone cases and I thought the other one was going to be the one that I put on and loved immediately. But as soon as it came out of the box, it was this one. So I do have a, pop, a clear pop socket on it, so it won't come with that. That's separate. Um, but I just feel like I've had so many more compliments on this phone mm -hmm. case than I ever have in my life. I love it because I can immediately tell if it's in my bag or not because it's so neon um, and then also there's no it's just harder to like leave behind because it's yes. like and everyone knows it's your it's phone loud okay this is my next favorite this is Charlie Charlie is our newest doggo in the Jeffle household we still have Barkley he's sitting down here playing with another dog that's in our house that we don't own but Dee's doggy daycare Dee's doggy daycare is in business today um, this is Charlie. He's uh, like two to three years old. He was at the SPCA and I adopted him on April 17th and he's just turning out to be the most wonderful little addition to our family. He's a love bug. He's so sweet. He's distrustful of a lot of people at first, but then he comes around. And he's just a little leggy guy. He did a baby. He did a baby. He did a baby. He did a baby. What else? Yeah. Um, we did a doggy DNA <laughs> yeah, test. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, wait, place your guesses now below before we announce the results of what you think. He's 30 pounds. 36 pounds. How tall does he do now? I mean, he's a he's, he's got some leggy. long legs and then look at his paws. Look They're how big, big his paws. paws. They're pretty paws big are. paws. Uh-huh. Look at this paws. Yeah, what do you think he is? Because we were wrong. I'll tell you that. All of us. Every person. Hello! Um, I got him, obviously, because he looks like Barkley. <laughs> I got Barkley 1 and Barkley 2. And they're BFFs. They look each other in the mouth. It's absolutely disgusting. <laughs> um, but Charlie is 31% Maltese. 31%. The next highest He's percentage... He's closer related to Ted than yeah. he is to Barkley. The next highest percentage was like 20% Australian cattle dog. Mm -hmm. 
And then there's like lab, golden retriever, beagle, chow chow, um, beagle, super you don't mutt. Like super mutt. He's a he's a just he's a pick -a mix and I love him. I love him. He's just the funnest little dude. So we've been doing a lot of training and working with him because he is scared of a lot of people and he was scared of a lot of dogs, but we went to doggy daycare for an interview this morning and he fucking crushed it! Totally 10 out of 10. He did. I'm so proud of you. The next two items are food products. Um, I've been having a lot of fun tasting new stuff. I went to Trader Joe's mm. with the Goyles once before bowling and I got the dark chocolate roasted pistachio toffee. I did purchase this explicitly so Danielle and I could try it together. And then it, it question mark. It sat on top of my refrigerator for like four weeks. Can I get a Because we didn't see each other, and so then I was like, I gotta eat it. And then I couldn't stop eating I was it. Say, it must have been really good. Oh, I can tell it was really good. It was really good because I don't even like toffee. I love toffee because it gets all stuck in your teeth. But somehow this toffee did not. Oh. Like, it didn't get all like <laughs> sticky. Like, it almost more like disintegrated. Okay. Oh, I like that. And I don't even like dark chocolate, but it was perfect. And then the whole thing was rolled in these pretty sizable, you're not gonna be able to see that. Stash. Pretty sizable bits of pistachio. Like, they're not, it's not like dust. It's like little, you know, like chunks. Right. Um, but yeah. On an ice cream. Oh, well, so that's why I still have them. Oh, it's because I, so I saved these and they, they've been sitting one so we could talk about it in a favorites, but also so that I could sprinkle them on top of some sort of something to zest it up. Um, cause Anything. it seems like a waste. It is. Put it on oatmeal. Mm, if, if I, I ate that. Kind of, kind of gal. Yogurt, if I ate yogurt. Cereal. Shh, if I ate that. Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. We'll figure it out one day. One day. These dogs shed like a motherfucker, and we got a new couch. That's not it. That's our old couch, but we got another couch by Joy Bird, and I was like, no dogs on the couch. Those dogs use that couch for parkour. Like a springboard. It's an actual springboard. So I got a Chom Chom. I'd heard about him for years and years and years, and then Frankie's mom had one, and I sh she showed me how she used it, and she demonstrated it, and I was like, oh, I don't really believe that it works, and then she showed me the inside, and I was like, holy fuck. I haven't looked inside of this yet, but I did a cushion on the blue couch back there before Caitlin got here. And what you do- Until you confirmed it was empty first? It was empty okay. first, yeah. So it has like this felt on here and these rubber- Scrapers. Scrapers, so the rubber scrapers gather the hair and then the constant back and forth motion puts the hair into this reservoir. So what you're doing is you're going- Ew, it's, it's like spitting stuff out. Oh. <laughs> But you do it in like six inch bursts and then you just pop this. Six inch bursts. Oh! So, a chomp chomp. Sick me. Amazon. Got bit. it on the zone. Got it on the zone. Wow, oh, I'm out of breath. Okay, last last thing. Uh, Danielle has a here. favorite pepper blend. <laughs> um, and I have a favorite salt blend, although this is not the exact one that I love, but that one's much harder to find, similar to your pepper blend. Wait, what is it called? So this is Jane's Crazy Mixed Up Seasonings. This is the original mixed up salt. They make another one that's like garlic mixed up salt. It's just heavier on the garlic. So the brand is still Jane's Crazy. Yes, it looks oh, exactly like it. this, but then it definitely has like I'm garlic like somewhere in this. So, oh, I didn't even know this. This is low in sodium. <laughs> it's like Mrs. Dash. MSG free, well, it's not, salt free, mm. uh, MSG free, gluten free, no sugar added. My, I had a roommate that bought this once or like used it regularly. So you like this one mixed up garlic seasoning? Yes, so hard to find. Okay. Um, but I just enjoy using it in place of traditional salt in when I'm seasoning things or doing a marinade. Vegetables, fish, all sorts of, every single protein, every fish, every carb. You can tell it'd be good. Yeah. It's just, it's got celery seed in it, yeah. and I think that's what I really like about it because in similar seasoning blends, like a Mrs. Dash, it's mostly just herbs, and so it's like thyme, yeah. basil, rosemary. I'm gonna get this. But I like that this has celery seed in it, and I can definitely taste the difference. So my favorite thing right now is hard-boiled eggs with a little shaky shake, mm -hmm. and then of the Tabasco, yeah. Chipotle Tabasco, and then it just, it like adds so much more flavor than just salt. You're right. Okay, my last item is 
a semi-cured gel nail. These are by the brand Ohora, but what they are, are these little sheets. <coughs> I wanna do this. Of a semi-cured gel nail. And the really cool part about this particular brand is that they're stretchable. So you peel it off and you put it on and you can stretch it to fit your nail and then you cure it and then you, you know, cut it and shape it and do all those things. They're, hey! don't ruin a good day that we were having. <laughs> da we were celebrating your day. Don't you get him going. Oh yeah, you know what it is? Cause you spent all morning talking about how well behaved he is. I want to do this. Anyhow, they're really good. I buy them on Amazon. They lasted me for two weeks. I'm not even kidding. And look how freaking fun this is. I want to do this. This particular one was called Snatched. I want it. They're on Amazon. I have to go buy some. You do this is need so a gel cool. light though, because you have to cure them. Okay, I need a better gel light though, because I think the one that I have is garbage. But these are really, really good. Okay. Okay. Uh, Comments. Where Comment, like, and subscribe, oh, you fucks. You're wearing that. <laughs> Tower 28, every day, pretty much. I'm wearing Hourglass, wow, the dog hair that's on me right now, do you just see mm -hmm. that one? Hourglass Unlocked Lipstick in Oasis. Yeah. It's real nice, it's real creamy. You know, we've forgotten to do that, like, all of the videos that we've recorded in the last six months. I know. Well. <laughs> Thank you to whoever reminded us yeah. in our YouTube comments. Oh, I gotta take my drugs. I thought you, you already did take stuff. You took stuff, you took stuff. You took stuff. Hey. Oh my god. We love you. We love you. We'll catch you in the next one. Bye. Bye. Cut it. Cut it. Cut it. Cut it. Cut it. Uh, 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 oh, that's what it is. Okay. I